Uh, Dr. Giesecke, thank you so much for making the time today. My, my pleasure. So if I can give you, you help me a little bit here, but uh, you trained originally at the London School of um, Tropical Medicine, is that right? Oh. No, uh, it started before that, actually. I used to be an infectious disease clinical doctor and worked a lot with AIDS patients during the 1980s. And that's what put me into epidemiology. And then I spent one year or two years at the London School of Tropical Medicine in the early 90s. And then I came back to Sweden and then I became state epidemiologist for Sweden, which means having control over all the infectious diseases. Which is the job that uh, Anders Tegnell currently has. So I, I actually hired him 20 years ago, and then I was his boss, and now he's my boss. But it's working actually quite well. Um, and you're also, you, then, you then became chief scientist at the European Centre for Disease Control? Yep. And what, what, is, what roles do you have now? Who are you advising at the moment? I'm advising Andrew Stegnell at the Swedish Agency for Public Health uh, on a consultant basis. I'm retired, really, so I'm doing this mostly because it's fun. And the World Health Organization, you're also, you were saying you were on a call with them earlier today. Do you have an ongoing relationship with them? Yes, I'm advising the Director General together with a group of old scientists, but that's uh, unpaid. It's right. just an honorary post in a way. Actually, should I tell you what I really think? I, Please. I almost never do this. I think what we're seeing is a tsunami of a usually quite mild disease, which is sweeping over Europe. And some countries do this, and some countries do that, and some countries do, don't do that. And in the end, there was very, very little difference. So when you say it's a usually quite mild disease, are, are you, what do you mean by that? That most people who get it will never even notice they were infected. So does that mean that you think the actual fatality rate of this disease is, is much lower than the numbers that have been talked about? Much, much lower. So do you have, uh, have you made any speculations as to what sort of um, zone the real fatality rate might be in? Uh, I think it will be like a severe influenza season, the same as, uh, which would be a, on an order of 0.1% maybe. So that would suggest then for a country like the UK that has already had, is heading towards 20,000 deaths, that would suggest that millions Many millions of people have already had it. Yes. And you believe? Is, do you think that is also true in Sweden? Then that a, that a substantial percentage of the population has had it. Yep, I'm rather certain on that actually.